What's up, 11 Series Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here, and we're back. And today, we are going to be fishing some more Six Cent stuff. You guys know how I like Six Cents. I really like them. I think their baits are a little overpriced, but it's Six Cents, so you're really you're paying for the name. What I will give to Six Cents is they put um, some of the best hooks on on their uh, lures. So you know you're buying those right out the box with um, like tournament ready hooks. You do not have to change the hooks out. So I'm doing kind of a short on the drive intro because um, I am driving to one of my favorite spots for while my wife, or correction, while my daughter is at dance. And uh, we're gonna go over there and see if we can't catch some fish. We got a couple of different things that we're gonna tie on. Um, one of them is the um, Flow Guide, Flow Glide, 130 and I have two different colors and then there's another one that's a crankbait and I don't quite remember the name of it right now but uh, once we get there to the lake I'll go over them really quick and uh, we'll go out and see what we can catch in about an hour and 20 minutes I think is what we got before it starts to get too dark so um, yeah six cents flow glide 130 two different colors and then they, these two crankbaits, they're really small, like tiny, tiny crankbaits. <laughs> I just can't remember the name right off the top of my head, but uh, we are gonna get those tied on and uh, see what we can go out there and catch, guys. So uh, yeah, I appreciate the love. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. And, um, and yeah, liking my videos, posting comments, and uh, maybe even sharing them a couple times. Um, That'd be kind of nice. But uh, yeah. So uh, let's go get this stuff out on. I'll see y'all at the lake. Peace! What's up, 11 Series Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here. I told y'all I'd be get back on the video once I got over here. Let's go over these baits real quick just so we can get out of the water. Here's that uh, flow glider. 130. I got it in two different colors. This color is bluegill fire, and this color is shad greens. They're uh, 130 millimeters long, one sixth of an ounce, slow sinking. And then next up, we have the Crush Mini 25X. Things are small, guys. That's why I want to fish these. I got my spinning combo. Let's see. We're gonna fish big. And we're gonna fish small. So I have one in. Uh, this is a custom bluegill color, and the other one is in Ghost Pro Shad. So we're gonna try the custom bluegill. No, let's do that one last. We'll do the Ghost Shad one first, and then as far as the flow glide goes, let's go the bluegill color. So uh, let me get these tied on, we'll get on the water. Peace. All right, guys, we're gonna throw this little one. Let's see if we can lose it. Does this have a rattle to it? No, it's silent. Well, that's not gonna be good. I could uh, 
it should be a problem. With that, it's getting dark already. Never, never thrown a crankbait on a spinning combo, so this is new to me. This is silent, so I think that's gonna be, it's gonna play a huge part in you know, if we don't catch any fish with it. Nope, right away. Oh yes. Right away, guys. Oh, please, please tell me I'm recording. Oh, it's a good fish too. Stay out of those bushes, stay out of those bushes. Probably the biggest fish I've ever caught with a spinning combo. Got to tie the other one on real quick just so we could Oh, he's, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. One hook. One little hook. There we go. Second or third cast, look at that. Barely is hooked. Barely skin hooked. Oh, there we go, guys, you can see barely hooked but man that's one knocked out right there he, uh, he was he was hooked in the jaw though but it was pretty good that six cents 25x crush man look at that bass nice bass all right one last look let's get him back in the water all right girl get out of here yes All right, guys, we are tying the other one on, which is called custom bluegill color. So let's get this one tied on here and uh, see if we can have the same luck. All right, guys, we got that custom bluegill hat on. Let's get back over there and see if there's, if they're over there feeding. There we go. Not a big one like the last one, but it's a fish. Alright. Gold colors of the 25X crush. Knocked out guys, look at that. Not a big one like the last one, but hey, I'll take them. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, here we go. The 25X. Crush. Oh, he's got a hole on the bottom of his lip. Done. Alright, here we go. Get him back in the water. Alright, dude, get out of here. Let's throw this flow glide up here, guys, and see. See if we can't get one to munch this. There we go, got one. That didn't take long. Oh, that's a good size one too. That's like the third or fourth cast, guys. We're gonna be able to knock out all of these. What? They're up there feeding. Oh. Another good bass, guys. Please tell me I am recording. Oh my God, yes. Whew. Look at that, the flow guy. The flow, the flow glider. Oh, these things are up here feeding too. What a big bass. Oh, I can't even grab them. Oh, what a good bass. It's way bigger than the other one. They're up here feeding, guys. Look at that, the flow glider. He got bull hooks. Oh, let's get him, let's get him unhooked. And then we'll tie the other one on and see if we can't go there and catch another one. The good thing is, is this is my, one of my newest rods that I have yet to catch a fish on. And uh, we just knocked it out. It is no longer a, a virgin anymore. Look at that bass. Look at that guy right there. What a good bass. Cut him with the flow glider. See if we can get that in there, the flow glider. Let's get a weight. All right, let's see. Oops, take it off here. Reset. All right, we got zeros. Let's see. There we go. 286, 286. All right, here we go. One last look. Let's get her back in the water. I think this is the bass that's been up there crashing the shoreline, feeding on them bait fish that are up there because she's full. All right, girl, get out of here. All right, let's get the let's get the white one tied on. See if we can catch us another one, guys. All right, guys. Yeah, that was definitely the big one that was crashing that uh that bank up there. I don't I don't see it crashing the bank anymore.
There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Guys, I was just about to pull it in and I just missed the fish. I was gonna put my uh, long sleeve shirt on because I'm getting bit. Guys, that could have been an epic day. It is an epic day of fishing so far because catch that many fish that quick. I haven't did that in a, in a while. What's up 11 Series Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here with 11 Series Bass Fishing. And that's it guys. The Six Sense Flow Glider 130 and the Crush Mini 25X. Video is complete. Let's go over the Flow Glider first. Um, Cause obviously it's the biggest bait and it's a glide bait. So this is 130 mil, 130 millimeters long, 1.6 ounces, and slow sinking. Let's pull them out. I had it in two colors. This first color is shad greens. Is the color shad greens? There you go, guys. Shad greens. Obviously, that shad color with the kind of the back is grayish green. I mean, as you can, you might be able to see some of the hints, but that light's kind of bright up there. But it does got a hint of like a bluish green and of course the gold on the top. Very realistic eyes up there. And then of course some monster, monster hooks. There's some plastic stuck on the hooks, but these hooks are amazing. It's got a soft tail. I mean, this is not a new bait. It's nothing that just came out. So like it's nothing that a million people don't already have, right? I'm just kind of going over for myself. Let's pull up the other one real quick. Another big swim bait, or not really a say swim bait, we'll say glide bait to add to my collection. I did catch a fish with this one. This is that bluegill fire. It's got that amazing bluegill color to it. You see those eyes right there? That green and then those kind of orangish green stripes has a orange bottom. Same kind of hint of a top as this one. You kind of uh, see they're kind of pretty similar. One's a little bit more gold, one's a little more green. So the way you fish these is you throw it out there and this one slinks, sinks slow. So you're gonna half turn and it's gonna dart it this way. Half turn and it's gonna dart it this way. So you're gonna do half turns and like little jerks of the rod and it's gonna go left to right. And then I was kind of just pausing in between. I'd stop and it's gonna slink slow and then I'll move it again. Doesn't have a whole lot of action. I mean, it's got a little bit of action, but I mean, this thing isn't, isn't crazy. So it's not gonna dart all over the place. It's only gonna go where you want it to go with a little bit of side to curve action really good baits i like them so i did have a bite with this one but he didn't get hooked and i ended up missing him so a 2.5 bass and one that missed and it was a pretty good decent sized bass with that one 
So let's move on to this Crush Mini 25X. Now, these are pretty amazing, guys. I, I, I really like these. I like, I like how small they are. I mean, I think the package is, is uh, the package is way over for the bait. I mean, it's ridiculous, the size of the package for the little bit of a bait. So this one is a custom bluegill color. And this one is Ghost Pro Shad. And you can see that it's see-through, which is the reason why they call it Ghost. And of course it's got that gill red line right there and the little dot on the top. Of course with some amazing looking eyes. And uh, this little, this little, this Ghost one, this wasn't my first bass and I probably should have weighed that one, but I didn't. Cause that one probably weighed more than the other one the third one that I caught, because there was a pretty big bass that went ahead and hit up this uh, ghost shad. And then of course this custom bluegill color, that, that color is just amazing looking. You can see the blue eyes, I mean the blue around the face and gill with the red eye. And then of course that bluegill color on the back. It's kind of translucent also. It's got that orange and red bottom. And then of course that blue um, head into the green back. But this is uh, one of those baits that you can throw on a spinning combo, because that's what I did. I threw that one on my uh, Lose Mach 2 spinning combo, and uh, it was perfect. I mean, it, it, it worked perfect. These baits got really good hooks. Let's see, um, it is 50 millimeters long, one fourth of an ounce, and dives two to four feet. So that's perfect for anybody doing some little pond hopping up shallow and you're not getting any bites with those bigger um, crankbaits. Go ahead and tie one of these on there, these, these mini 25X. Um, of course they, that one's got a little bit of a rattle, but that's kind of weird because this one ain't got nothing. Trying to get poked by these hooks. I mean, I guess that one's got an itty bitty Bit of a rattle, but ouch. Sticky, sticky hooks. But as far as I know, this is solid. Takes finesse cranking to the next level, allowing you to downsize your lure, but still be tough on those pressure days. I mean, two, two to four feet, that's perfect. Silent, it's got a silent, faint, rattle system so it does have a rattle but it's really faint and that's what that's what i hear in these so it's got that really faint rattle for those uh pressured high pressured bass so that's pretty good what is the the flow glider say i think i've been calling it the flow guide glide i, I don't know um can be worked over just about any type of structure all right blah 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 Blah, 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 no, nothing too, nothing too big. So uh, two great baits, two great baits from a great company, Six Cents, and uh, some great catches. I hate I didn't catch one with this, but don't worry, I am gonna be out fishing this one again. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I got more videos coming. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by and watching my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. And uh, until next time, I'll see you on the water. Peace.